Greetings, galactic wizards of the Rainbow Dragon lineage. Welcome to the new earth of the Golden Age Rising. Place your awareness in your heart center as we resonate the bells of the Dorje of the Dragons. Aho! I'd like to start off by thanking everyone for joining myself and our team of the Divine 44 in last night's meditation activation for the ascension of all beings, all sentient beings in all realms and timelines. Many people reported to myself and our team that many were activated, felt the ascension energies on a deep level. I'd also like to thank everyone that sent uh, donations and super chats and supporting our team myself and this great mission this global mass meditation on the 444 portal is going to assist us carry all of humanity and all sentient beings and all around through this ascension process so thank you for joining us on this great mission of the great awakening we saw the symbols today in the Schumann resonance of massive whiteout which is synchronizing with the mass meditations. We had a massive blast of 76 hertz today from the 5D plasma wave from the central sun, connected to the central sun within each one of us, that zero point energy of infinite light, infinite life that connects all things and all timelines and all realms, all dimensions, all frequencies come together in the still center we had many earthquakes once again all over the grid the grid is totally lit up gaia along with all star blossoms fully activated we had over 197 earthquakes in the past 24 hours m 1.5 or greater six hours ago 4.7 in indonesia largest today 5.9 earlier this morning also in indonesia with the lemurian energies we also had 3.5 in Southern California, several earthquakes in California, Puerto Rico 3.5, another 4.9 in Indonesia, Puerto Rico 4.1, also Idaho active again today 3.2, and the Solomon Island Sol of Moon, the Sun and the Moon 5.0, Chile, South America, right in the central spine of Pachamama, the Kundalini through the Andes, 4.3 in Chile. Today, with the Mayan calendar, is Kin 7, which is blue resonant hand, which is both synchronicities of the blue hand, which is the Venus, the healing divine feminine waters, the medicine Buddha of the lapis lazuli blue light for healing and resolving all suffering transforming disease into health and wholeness kin 7 synchronic with the largest supermoon of the year on the 7th which will be in two days from this recording it is 11 11 p.m eastern time in the u.s while i'm recording this and it is going to be a pink supermoon the 7th which will be tuesday and with this pink energy connecting with the sisterhood of the rose pink rose which is the energy of the divine feminine of mary magdalene so we have the blue and the pink healing energies manifesting through the resonating chamber of the queen's chamber of the great pyramid which is connected to your solar plexus and uluru at the heart of our blessed australian outback as the collective is transitioning and transmuting through this great journey of the walkabout now before recording starting this recording this is going to be synchronic with a light worker out there my left thumb was activated was bit by the jade buddha and once my right thumb was activated as i looked out into the glorious moon tonight divine feminine spider was in the moonlight this was connected to the spider that came through if you were at the live meditation last night on this channel 
You may have heard about the spider that showed up, and the spider that was in the moonlight tonight has been coming to me for the last three nights, transmitting the spider medicine, which connects us to the feeling energy through our souls, the soul of our consciousness, and the soul of our feet, which are portals that connect us to the crystalline core of Pachamama, Mother Earth, and also the symbol of the web of consciousness that connects all life, this beautiful, shimmering, divine web where we sit at the center, totally still, totally awake, and totally aware, and it's the expansion of our consciousness out into the ends of the universe, connecting us to all sentient beings of pure consciousness. We start today's first transmission from Vidya Frazier, the great awakening is happening. It's unbelievable. So much awakening is occurring across the planet. How long have we been waiting for these times? Times in which humanity would finally be making a shift toward the fifth dimension. How long has that dimension seemed like some mystical land we might sometime in the distant future be able to enter? And who would have predicted it would begin happening during a time of total crisis and chaos, like a virus epidemic that would come upon us so quickly, seemingly out of nowhere, and yet here we are at that point now, global awakening is at long last occurring. Yes, there are still great numbers of people worldwide who are completely unaware of what's going on. They remain in fear and despair, clueless that humanity is being propelled forward to make a quantum leap in consciousness. Many of them may not choose to continue on this journey. Indeed, some of those dying of the virus at this time may be taking their leave now before it gets too difficult for them to stay. And yes, there is good reason for the panic and fear if you're in an area like New York City in which the pandemic is raging out of control. What people in these kinds of places are experiencing is beyond devastating. Most of us can't even imagine. It's heartbreaking to even simply witness the depth of suffering so many people are enduring. But there is also a rapidly expanding group of people who are waking up out of the fear and despair, even while within the tumultuous events they are experiencing and witnessing. They're popping out of their habitual unconscious mindsets and discovering there is a whole lot more to life than they realized. They're waking up to the possibility that there's more than just trying to create as comfortable a life as possible for themselves and their families. They're seeing there's more than simply accepting, without question, life in a world that is totally unjust, controlled by a tiny elite group of people. They're getting that there's more than just waking up in the morning, going to work, watching TV, then going to bed. Despite all the hardship and uncertainty of these coronavirus times, we are coming alive like never before. There is an outpouring of love and compassion for others, people helping people. Medical teams on the front lines across the planet are especially proving themselves heroic with their tireless work in treating and stemming the spread of the virus. It brings tears to the eyes. Indeed, medical staff from Cuba, of all places, a country that has been shunned by the West for so many years, are going all over the world to assist in any way they can. Despite the heightened animosity and the sanctions battle between China and the West, China is sending medical experts and supplies to the West to assist the medical teams here. And then there are the individual people and groups who are responding in over-the-top creative ways that could not have been predicted before. We've all seen the reports of individuals and groups offering an outpouring of love through free online courses, musical performances, and trips through museums, even a humorous parade through a neighborhood with participants keeping their six foot distance from each other and compassionate individuals often to buy groceries for elderly or sick neighbors very importantly we are also seeing groups setting up mass meditations to occur around the world both to stop the spread of the virus and to lift the collective consciousness into greater love in addition we've read about hotels and restaurants that are open just for medical staff and housing and empty government buildings being given to the homeless this is a planetary revolution all these responses are demonstrating humanity's inherent compassion strength endurance and creativity that are waking up in phenomenal ways 
this is fifth dimensional consciousness in action and all of it is exactly how the energy has been described throughout the ages and prophecies about these times as we begin the shift into fifth dimensional consciousness it's the full blossoming of heart energy within the human species never seen before in the last twenty six thousand years why now so what is causing all this transformation why would it be happening in these tumultuous times of all times as many of us know it's the fifth dimensional energy that is now streaming onto the earth like never before it's celestial light flooding us with a new sense of freedom and joy sometimes it comes off as a blast of energy and sometimes as a gentle whoosh of fifth dimensional grace can you feel it it comes in waves sometimes almost knocking you over with its sweet and powerful force even if you're in the middle of a difficult time dealing with unresolved core woundings and traumas as many currently are if you tune in you can probably feel that right alongside the pain you're experiencing there are also currents of light swirling all around you and through you if you pay attention and surrender to these waves they will lift you into higher realms of ineffable love joy and peace you'll see you have the opportunity to embrace these energies now before they fully sweep onto the planet and take over completely during the upcoming event you can learn to flow with them now during the bumpy times of transition into greater balance empowerment and well-being indeed it's very fitting that these times are becoming known as the great awakening and how glorious it is to be alive now even despite all the uncertainty the fear and the unknown future but these waves of light are not only affecting us on a personal or social level they are also propelling forward the history of the human race in an unprecedented way as you may be aware exciting things are also happening behind the scenes on the global political level as well if you've been following alternative newscasts you're probably aware of the imminent mass arrests that will likely be taking place soon bringing in greater freedom abundance and support for all of humanity after eons of time being controlled by the dark deep state forces these arrests can all take place now due to the high energy waves of light streaming in and due to the positive response humanity has been demonstrating in cooperating with the quarantines and social distancing in addition it is reported that the energies streaming in are also assisting off-world light forces composed of our benevolent galactic cousins in clearing the fields around the earth and battles being fought against dark forces this is an ancient battle between those forces that has found its culmination on planet earth and the light forces at long last are finally succeeding these light forces are also able to move in now to begin clearing negative plasma energies from around and within the planet and they've just recently been able to shift their efforts to clearing individuals who have been carrying lower astral entities and implants within their auras and bodies this alone will be freeing people and everyone around them in ways that are still unforeseen many people unknowingly carry these dark entities and implants believing these things are part of who they are for them it would be like waking up from a nightmare it is said that as we continue to awaken and evolve these benevolent galactics will be physically landing here at some point in the not so distant future inviting us to learn from them and to explore the universe with them many will be old friends of ours from long ago the event and ascension all in all these are times we lightworkers and starseeds have been waiting for some of us for thousands of years can you believe it's finally happening it is truly time to celebrate but to be clear we are just at the beginning point of the grand shift to the fifth dimension it's important to understand that the event and ascension are not the same thing the event will be a singular solar flash experience that will affect the entire earth and its inhabitants with powerful energies we have never experienced before or at least not for thousands of years the impact will be gigantic positively altering all living beings on the planet in unbelievable ways many will be lost in bliss for a few days following it but it will also cause a breakdown of all technology and social and political structures that are of a low frequency and the energies will be very difficult for individuals who are vibrating at a low vibration 
This is where light workers will be called upon to do their most important work. Ascension, on the other hand, is a gradual experience that has already been happening for many of us. It's an experience of rising in consciousness out of what has been called third dimensional and more recently fourth dimensional consciousness. We are dipping in and out of this high level of being and awareness. Even people brand new to the idea of ascension and fifth dimension are already tasting the experience. But there will at some point be an experience of actual permanent ascension into the fifth dimension for people ready to do this. This process will evidently be occurring in three waves over a period of a few years after the event occurs. From vidyafrazier.com and from Astromama, yesterday's Jupiter conjunct Pluto in Capricorn, the extremity of expansion, the wisdom of death plus rebirth, and the power of power. On April 4th, 5th, Jupiter, the planet of expansion, wisdom, and truth, comes to meet up with Pluto, the planet of power, death, and rebirth, and regeneration, both in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn, the 10th zodiac sign, is known to represent color, order, obligation, big business, the government, and karma. This is the first of three meetups with these planets in 2020. They will meet up again on June 30th and November 12th. Jupiter conjunct Pluto is here to expand and exemplify power and transformation within our lives. Considering we are in such intense times, these two planetary powerhouses coming together bring extreme energies when combined. They are both ready to enlighten our sense of wisdom and transform our sense of control. Meeting up in the sign of Capricorn suggests these extremes and responsibilities will be full on and taken to the next level. These two come together in a conjunction every 13 years. The last time was in 2007 when both were in the sign of Sagittarius. Interestingly enough, the Spanish influenza crisis of 1918 also saw this aspect of Jupiter and Pluto, both in the sign of Cancer. Jupiter and Capricorn wants to teach Pluto and Capricorn the ability to recognize truth and value within order and obligation. Pluto and Capricorn wants to teach Jupiter and Capricorn the art of death within a particular system and the rebirth of creating solid foundations. Together, their dance is one of intense epiphanies within how we use or give away our sense of power and control. Jupiter conjunct Pluto and Capricorn is here to bring an extreme understanding of how structures and obligations work within our current lives. With these things changing on the daily, our new normal is one of constantly shifting dynamics within order and stability. This aspect can feel like we are standing in quicksand. There is something that had to massively be transformed. We will be forever shaken around our sense of stability and normalcy with this aspect. Jupiter conjunct Pluto in the sign of the mountain goat wants there to be a complete shift within the dynamic of how we see power and order. This aspect is encouraging us to be willing to accept extremes and to be willing to let things go. True transformation is a messy process. Jupiter conjunct Pluto and Capricorn is here to radicalize the order and structures to our lives, enhance and expand the need for power plus control, and bring awareness plus acceptance to the cycles of death and rebirth. From Astro Mama, today quick update from Amanda Lawrence. The energies have lifted, kind of like a dense fog that overlaid Gaia and humanity. There is now a clarity. And that is what many are experiencing through these ascension energies, is as the veil is lifted, as the clouds clear for the shining light of the glorious sun to shine clearly and illuminate our pure consciousness, so that we each on an individual level, realize our true nature of the unborn mind of Buddha here now through this vessel so that we can assist the collective in this great awakening process. And today from Michael Love, Major Earth Alliance Brief, 4-5-2020, Energies, Starseed 444 Global Mass Meditation Highlights, Congratulations, you made history this past evening in the largest mass global meditation ever conducted on this planet. 
a critical mass of global consciousness cohesion was achieved last evening as light beings all across the planet came into one mind and one accord to manifest the new earth preliminary data from the earth alliance estimates that over one billion star seeds participated in this incredible global mass meditation light beings all across the world report experiencing an intense dimensional shift just after 11 p.m eastern during the meditation the schumann resonance is a direct reflection of consciousness levels around the earth and right on point energy levels began rising right after the meditation began a powerful burst of 40 hertz 5d light was imprinted on the graph during the peak meditation time and the wave is still going after midnight eastern time what are the after effects of all of this everything on earth will change even more now in a positive way and major news will begin showing up across the planet in the coming hours and days that will reflect this paradigm shift in global consciousness incredible work it has always been known that the system busters and the renegades of light would end up saving the world after all now you see how powerful you truly are together we are creating a beautiful new world of light for all of humanity as the earth alliance assembles all the data let us know about your meditation experience during this great time stay tuned for a major earth alliance update with all the details godspeed michael and the pleiadians and a side note i know many are going to question the validity of a billion star seeds that were part of the mass meditation now this was all star seeds consciously and unconsciously participating in this meditation which affected the global consciousness which is what we call the collective consciousness of humanity and in the coming days the signs and synchronicities are going to show the massive effect of all of you participating in this great awakening process and from chamtrur rinpoche be like a great bird that can fly through a storm to the peaceful expanse of sky fly through the storm of your afflictive emotions to the peaceful expanse of your mind chamtrul rinpoche and this is the symbol of the storm this great shift we are transitioning through and transmuting for all sentient beings so as we release and let go of all negative thoughts all negative emotions all negative feelings we tap into our infinite light our infinite life that is the eternal unborn unmanifest mind of buddha the great mystery and source light and from the gene keys from richard rudd april 4th through april 9th 2020 is gene key 5151 which is awakening initiative and agitation the initiative to initiation which is synchronic with the mass meditations last night of course this gene key for the following week is all about awakening this great awakening awakening is really a series of softenings our awareness becomes more one-pointed but our heart and mind become softer and more open whenever we're confronted with harshness the unexpected noise turbulence the thunder of life instead of tensing up we can relax and open soften and become milder mildness is an essential quality needed to allow spiritual initiation in fact as we become more yielding so our consciousness expands to encompass wider and wider vistas and possibilities richard rudd 64 ways and from the classic yi ching the book of change the book of fortune code 51 the arousing thunder and lightning erupt suddenly the dragon awakens igniting the spiritual transmission through fast changing energy awakening arrives as a surprise initiative ignites creative independence agitation is anxiety begging to move awakening realization the superior man maintains his correctness in every situation to secure the appointment of heaven from the gene keys unlocking the higher purpose hidden in your dna by richard rudd and from the zolkin times 
Kin 7, Blue Resonant Hand. The number 7 is called Resonant and its keywords are channel and attune. These days are great for fine tuning your intuitive skills. Feeling what is right and acting on those gut feelings always leads to synchronicity. It is when our logical brain talks us out of those feelings that we then make the wrong decision. Of course we should be paying attention to that inner voice every day, but on resonant days our inner voice is louder and we are more likely to hear it. Today is blue hand which represents healing, accomplishment and inner knowing. The blue hand is about healing with our hands. Accomplishing things with our hands and inner knowing is about, guess what, knowing intuitively what is right. Today is the perfect day to receive or give some Reiki or hands-on type healing. Use your intuition today and enjoy the feeling of accomplishment when you put your hands to good use. And from Christina Papagiorgio, Blue Resonant Hand, Kin 7, 5 April 2020, Accomplishing Healing. 5 4 20 20 equal 5 4 4 equal 13 equal 4 5 freedom change transformation 13 goddess cosmic natural lore 4 angelic earth form foundation ken 7 equals 7 magic mysticism solitude spiritual a very powerful transformational day through healing and accomplishment continuing the four coding from yesterday's 444 date. So today we are accomplishing the healing that we attune to in order to liberate Gaia from density. Viva la revolution. Day 7 in the Red Mother Dragon wave spell where we are incubating the womb of creation. We are being guided to focus on nurturance and compassion for ourselves and others in our planet. Realizing the importance of self-love and the giving and receiving of unconditional love in order to grow and flourish and be born anew. Today we are attuning to divine love and nurturance as the healing panacea needed to accomplish profound healing in order to self-generate and inspire others through the wisdom we have gained. Day 7 of Red Dragon Wave Spell aligns well with Blue Hand, a great day for a massage, Reiki, emotional clearing, and general pampering, Self-nurturing is the key to accomplishing happiness. Tone of creation, resonant tone 7 in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. Day 7 of Red Dragon Wave Spell is the one that helps us to become centered, going within in order to listen and channel healing wisdom. Resonant gives you the power of attunement and the ability to channel. Tuning in, being tapped in and switched on, this being able to inspire others through messages beautifully in sync with red earth today's gift we are invited to take stock and realign ourselves by attuning ourselves with divine love and nurturance which can heal any ailment our first priority is to sufficiently love and nurture ourselves in order to have a strong reservoir of energy upon which to draw upon without feeling depleted is your chalice full when we take care of ourselves on all levels, we feel centered and strong to take off and leave the nest. The global meditation for the 444 portal is, was a brilliant accomplishment for humanity as we metaphorically joined hands and walked together through the portals to the new world we have collectively created in these evolutionary transitional times. Blue Resonant Hand Day makes for a very powerful healing day which can be duly leveraged to accomplish significant transformation today for ourselves and for our planet. Today's question is how can we attune to divine love and channel this wisdom to accomplish great healing and transformation in our lives and for our planet. Divine blessings for accomplishing great revolutionary healing today. In La Keca La Kin, Christina White, Magnetic World Bridger, Kin 66. Kin 7, Blue Resonant Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to know. Inspiring healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of self-generation. And with the collective energy of the mass global meditations yesterday 
You can keep that energy flowing and turn the meditation into a daily practice. You can view and do the practices we transmitted yesterday through the global meditation, the 444 portal, and keep that energy flowing, keep the activations moving through your body, anchoring them into the grid wherever you're stationed upon Pachamama right now to assist Gaia's ascension along with the ascension of all sentient beings in this realm and all realms, all timelines merging together through your still heart center. So as you practice and allow the energies to move through you and quiet the body, mind, and spirit, getting into that feeling, the resonance of your pure awareness that is your true self, as we release and let go all that no longer serves ourself or humanity, we activate our deep cellular power of infinite potential, infinite creativity, and our energy of love, compassion, joy, bliss, harmony, and peace for all living beings in all realms and all timelines, ending once and for all the separation programming and the suffering programming of the false self, of the false mind, the false matrix, maya illusion that is a temporary state. Our eternal self is the pure bliss, the pure light, the clear light of source energy. So, beloved beings of light, let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, what you're seeing, your experiences of the meditation last night, and what you're experiencing today as you're riding the waves of this great energetic activation of the collective, any synchronicities and visions coming through, and experiences of the divine, of the supernatural, of the metaphysical, that which is beyond the physical, the two worlds become one, physical and the non-physical, emptiness and form, time and space, heaven and earth meet in the middle through the rainbow bridge of our celestial bodies. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe below, click the subscribe button and the little bell next to subscribe to get notifications on future uploads. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for joining in on the meditation last night. It was a great success and it was a great joy for myself and our team of the Divine 44 to connect with all of you, all of your energy. Thank you for your amazing connections and your comments and keeping the energy flowing and also for your support. You can join our team on Facebook, Divine 44, Rainbow Tribe of the New Earth. Have a beautiful and blessed day. In the eternal now, I love you all. Namaste.